Guys, I am so mad. I am so mad. A few days ago, a pseudo blueprint for one of DJI's patent applications with the Chinese Patent Office for an unmanned aerial vehicle leaked. And it looks like the unmanned aerial vehicle is going to be the Mavic 3. And I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I couldn't record a video because I was on vacation. Of course, I'm behind the old eight ball trying to keep up with everybody else. But you know what? I don't really give a damn. And here's why. I'm going to manipulate that YouTube algorithm because we're talking about the Mavic 3 blueprints anyway. So let's talk drones. <laughs> And before we get started, I just want to send a huge shout out to the company Tag My Drone. I was looking for a solution to put the FAA registration on my drones without having to use permanent marker to do so. I just think it looks tacky. If you do it that way, nothing against you. I just want a little bit more of a cleaner, professional look, especially since I use my drones for my company and I use them in front of clients. I want to make sure everything looks uniform. Tag My Drone does just that. As you see, I've got just a little tag right there. It's got the FAA registration number on it for my drone. It also has a cool little section where you can put your contact information in case you would lose the drone or crash it and you can't find it so that hopefully whoever does find it can return it to you safely. When you receive your tags, they'll come in a standard mail envelope and they'll come in a sheet of 10 just like this. They're stickers that come in a variety of colors and styles. I went with the metallic silver because I think it looks really slick on the Mavic 2's gray body. Tagmydrone.com, go check them out. Really affordable and a really great professional looking solution to put your FAA registration number on your drone to make sure you're flying legit. So thank you again to Tag My Drone and just just so everybody is clear, this isn't a paid endorsement. I really appreciated the customer service, the price, and just the overall finished product that Tag My Drone sent me. So again, Tag My Drone, thank you. And you make sure you go check them out, tagmydrone.com. There was a lot of buzz about which drone this might be when the patent was filed. There was no blueprint, there was no additional information, just that DJI had filed a patent for an unmanned aerial vehicle. A lot of people thought it was either going to be the Mavic 3 or the Inspire 3. And while tons of people are hyped that the Mavic 3 seems to be coming out in the somewhat near future, maybe, a lot of people, just like myself, are really f***ing bummed. Look, I know that I should be really excited. DJI is coming out with a new drone. That's awesome news. Let alone it's a Mavic. Those aircraft are amazing. But I'm just a little disappointed that we're not getting a new Inspire. The Inspire 1 came out in 2014. The Inspire 2 came out in 2016. So naturally you'd think every two years they were gonna come out with the new Inspire. But here we are in 2020 and still no Inspire 3. I know that the Inspire series isn't as popular with the average consumer because it comes with a hefty price tag, but some of us like myself have saved up money and are sitting on it waiting for the Inspire 3 to come out so we can have first dip on it. We're very, very excited and not getting some sort of affirmation that it is coming soon really has me feeling like DJI hit the bed. Here we are in 2020 and we're about two years behind the established schedule for the Inspire series with no Inspire 3 in sight. At this point, I would feel like we have a snowball's chance in hell of actually seeing an Inspire 3 anytime soon. But this video is not about the Inspire 3. I know you probably feel a little bit bamboozled. I've got Mavic 3 in the title of this video and here I am rambling on about the Inspire 3. But you know what? I needed to piss and moan a little bit because I'm a little disappointed disappointed, but I haven't pulled the wool over your eyes. We are going to be talking about the Mavic 3, the leaked blueprint, and what this might mean for the next installation of the Mavic drones in that series. So you'll see here that this isn't really a blueprint, which is why I'm going to lovingly refer to it as a pseudo blueprint, because it doesn't have more specific information about the drone or its parts and features. It's more of a graph and gives you an idea of what the drone might look like upon release. So. Let's break it down a bit and speculate on what this image might mean. 
for starters, it looks like the legs or arms, whichever you prefer, aren't going to stray away from the classic folding design of the original Mavic. The same design with portability in mind seems to be in the plans for the Mavic 3, which will leave a lot of weekend warriors and mobile creators relieved after rumors of the legs taking on a more Inspire style format in that they act more like a landing gear that lifts up and lowers as you take off and land the drone. The Mavic 3 will continue the tradition of the Mavic series being the king of portable drones. Moving on to the sensors, it appears that the obstacle avoidance sensors are going to remain in the same place as the previous full-size Mavic drones, with the exception of the top sensor. That looks like it's moved to the front of the drone rather than the butt end. I'm not sure this is going to cause any functionality changes with the obstacle avoidance system in the Mavic 3. It may make it better, it may make it worse, or it might not change at all and you won't notice anything when you're flying it. But I do want to hear your opinion. So in the comments below, let me know what you think of this change. It's a small one, but it could potentially impact the way the obstacle avoidance system works for the Mavic 3. I'd like to hear from you, so make sure you leave your comment down below. I read every comment that I get. By the way, if you want to leave a comment telling me how much of a dingus you think I am, that's fine too. Go ahead and roast me because YouTube, yeah, their algorithm doesn't discriminate good from bad comments, so roast away, baby, roast away. On to arguably the most important part of any DJI drone, the camera. Largely, the company specializes in cinematography and photography drones, so everyone is always interested in the punch that these cameras are going to pack. It looks like the Mavic 3 is going to be featuring a scaled up version of the Mavic Air 2's camera. No official specs have been released on the sensor size or capabilities of the camera itself, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Mavic 3 comes standard with a one inch sensor and a 20 megapixel camera. It seems to be what people expect from the full size Mavic now, and I think in order to have any success with this drone, they need to offer a feature of interchangeability with the gimbal and camera assembly. They need an answer to the Autel Evo 2. And they also have to at least match the camera quality of the Mavic 2 Pro, or this drone won't do as well as it should. On that note, guys and, and girls too, I don't discriminate with idiocy, it's the Mavic 2 Pro. It's not the Mavic Pro 2. This bothers me. Every time I get on a forum where people are talking about this drone, they always, I don't wanna say always, but almost always say Mavic Pro 2. It is not the Mavic Pro 2. It's the Mavic 2 Pro. Here's why. You had the Mavic Pro. It wasn't the Mavic 1 Pro. It was the Mavic Pro because it was the only Mavic at the time. It was the first Mavic. There were no Mavics after it. It was all that needed to be said. The Mavic Pro. That's it. That's all. We now have a second Mavic, the Mavic 2. So naturally, it would be the Mavic 2 aircraft Pro Edition. That's how it goes. Also, evidence to support my claim, the Mavic 2 Zoom. There are two editions of the Mavic 2. There's the Mavic 2 Zoom and there's the Mavic 2 Pro. There was no Mavic Zoom 1. There was no Mavic 1 Zoom. It's the Mavic 2 Aircraft Edition Zoom or Edition Pro. It is, without a doubt, the Mavic 2 Pro. And I don't understand what the big dilemma is. Everybody seems to say Mavic Pro 2, and it is maddening. I can't listen to it anymore. Either say it right or don't say it at all. Okay, so now that we have that cleared up, let's move on. So those really seem to be the major changes coming with the Mavic 3. As you see here, I've highlighted some of the slight changes from the Mavic 2, including some oddly placed dimples or mechanisms on the battery and the front of the fuselage of the drone. It also looks like they're going back to the stack dot format for the battery life indicator on the batteries, which that's actually kind of cool, a nice little homage to the original Mavic. The only place that I feel DJI really misses the boat every time they come out with a new drone is adding forward compatibility to their batteries. Now, I know that they might lose money on the front end by making batteries forward compatible. People won't be buying as many because they won't need to get new batteries every time they upgrade their drone. But hear me out. If you add forward compatibility, that means people that buy the Mavic 3 can then use those same batteries they bought for that drone when they upgrade to the Mavic 4. They've saved money by not having to replace the batteries for the 3, and they're able to put that towards the next generation of drone. 
add forward compatibility and you're gonna help a ton of people. Except for those of us that have the one and the two, which is unfortunate because anybody that has the Mavic or the Mavic 2 knows that those batteries swell faster than a neck beard buying Belle Delphine's bathwater. People that are just getting into drones and buy the Mavic 3 for their first drone will then have batteries that can carry over into Mavic 4s and 5s. And those of us that are still hanging on to our 2s, well, at some point we're gonna have to upgrade. So having that forward compatibility on the batteries is gonna make it a lot easier to pull the trigger on that upgrade because we don't have to replace all of our equipment. What I will be interested to see is if DJI makes any changes to how the propellers lock into the motors. If you remember, Autel put up a lawsuit against DJI citing that they had stolen the idea for how the propellers lock into the motors with those little feet. Autel won that lawsuit and DJI suffered some sort of consequences. Nobody really knows, or at least I don't know. I didn't really follow up on it. I just knew DJI was in trouble. And there was like a hot minute where everybody was like, oh, DJI is not gonna sell in the United States anymore. Anyway, long story short, I'll be very interested to see if DJI makes any changes to how those propellers lock into the motors. I think that it'd be smart in the long term so they don't have to keep cutting Autel a check. To wrap it up, guys, I'm probably not gonna buy the Mavic 3. It's not for lack of interest. I'm actually really stoked to see what the Mavic 3 has to offer, but I just don't have the capital. You saw at the beginning of the video, I'm pretty bummed out that the Inspire 3 is not the one that's coming out. I've been saving all of this money to invest in an Inspire 3, and I'm really set on keeping that money set aside for the Inspire 3 in case they have a surprise drop at the end of the year, which I doubt, but one can hope. So I'm sorry, I don't really know what to tell you. Unless... Unless you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, we are on the quest to 1,000 subscribers and I need your help to get there. 1,000 subscribers doesn't come easy, but what happens, what everybody knows happens when you get there, is you're one step closer to monetizing your YouTube channel. And with that money, I could invest in a new drone. Like, hmm, I don't know the Mavic 3. But we have to get to a thousand subscribers first, so I need you to stop what you're doing. Scroll down this page just, just a little bit and click on the subscribe button. It's a big red button. It's got the white text and it says subscribe in the middle. Just click that one time and you'll be subscribed to my channel. You better do it. I'm just kidding. You don't have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I won't hate you if you don't. I just appreciate the time you took to watch my video today. And if you did like this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. It helps my video and the YouTube algorithm get out to more people so that more people can see my content, stuff that I really enjoy making. If you do like my content, I do encourage you to hit the subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. And like I said, we are actually on a quest to 1,000 subscribers. So adding you would help me out tremendously and it is so appreciated. If you really, really love my content, right next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell icon. I need you to click on that bell icon because that will send you a notification every time I post a new video. So if you wanna be one of the first people to see my new stuff, that's the best way to do it right now. Delphi, you nasty. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today and talking drone. Second reminder now to go down and click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and I really, really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Chris, the Drone Geek of Lancaster, and I am out of here. Later.